Blowing the whistle on Facebook. Astronomical profits before people. A former exec testifying on Capitol Hill. A drop in COVID numbers has many wondering. We still have so many people who are not vaccinated. When can we finally let down our guard? Plus, the vice president starring in a special about space. I just love the idea of exploring the unknown. And it has even the youngest of viewers over the moon. These stories and more coming up on Newsbreak. Good morning, South Florida. I'm Danelle Dukin. And I'm Zitlali Solache. Today is Wednesday, October 6, 2021. From the South Florida Media Network's Biscayne Bay Studios in North Miami, this is SFMN Newsbreak. A Facebook employee turned whistleblower making her claims before Congress. The explosive testimony on Capitol Hill yesterday. And as the network's Abdul Jabbour reports, the former Facebook employee painted a very incriminating picture of the company. Facebook is in the hot seat after a massive six hour app shutdown. Now a whistleblower is testifying. Frances Haugen leaked thousands of pages of internal research and documents, indicating Facebook was aware of various problems caused by its apps, including Instagram potential toxic impact on teen girls. Facebook needs to take responsibility. Facebook is trending, and it's a major mess for the social media giant. Lies a devastating truth. Almost no one outside of Facebook knows what happens inside of Facebook. Frances Haugen, whistleblower testifying in a Senate subcommittee. Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram were down for 24 hours after a massive outage. Facebook and Instagram saver, but won't make the necessary changes because they have put their astronomical profits before people. The former Facebook product manager is taking aim at the company algorithms, accusing them of pushing harmful content like anorexia to young users. The next generation is just as engaged with Instagram as the current one. Um, and the way they'll do that is by making sure that children establish habits before they have good self-regulation. By hooking kids. By hooking kids. That's why she's begging for congressional inspection rare bipartisan agreement. How to resolve our differences and uh, introduce legislation. So as Senator Thune said, let's go to work. Our, our differences are very minor. Facebook spokesperson weighing in on the testimony. Some people on Instagram are having a good experience and that is borne out by the documents that were stolen. In a written statement, Facebook denied the whistleblower's claims, saying she didn't work on the subject matter in question, and that they don't agree with her characterization of the many issues she testified about. In the control center, Abdul Jabbour, South Florida Media Network. Sadness for the family of Mia Marcano after a medical examiner confirms that a body found over the weekend is hers. The 19-year-old's body was found Saturday near the former home of a man who police believed killed. He was a maintenance worker at the Orlando apartment complex where Mia lived and also worked. Mia grew up in Broward County and went to Flanagan High. As COVID cases nationwide continue to drop, encouraging news on the vaccine front emerges, but we shouldn't let our guards down just yet. As data from Johns Hopkins University shows, seven-day average deaths are down 12% compared to last week with the average of new cases also down. Yet health experts remind us that now is not the time to let up. If we bring transmission down, it would also help reduce, reduce infections. But the reality is these vaccines are not going to be 100% effective in preventing infection. A report by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services containing data from 48 states shows vaccines prevented at least a quarter million infections among seniors and tens of thousands of deaths between January and May of this year. Food straight from Spain in an address in Miami Lakes. The network's Tanias Bavoir takes you inside El Pimento. We're starting off Hispanic Heritage Month with this local restaurant in Miami Lakes. This is El Pimiento, a family business located in Miami Lakes, serving authentic Spanish cuisines for 16 years. The restaurant continues Spanish traditions through their food, wine, and decorations. Roberto, who's the handyman and heart of El Pimiento, assists the family business in managing the dessert and making sure the restaurant has quality service. Standing on Miami Lakes, loves to camp here. 
and they love to stay here because it looks like an icon. Also, the new owner is a woman and uh, she has a very good uh, uh, attitude to the city, to the people and looking for the best food and the best uh, ambience for our people here in uh, El Pimiento restaurant. The new owner of the restaurant, Veruska, revived the location, providing customers with fresh Spanish food. At the Pimiento restaurant, we have something important, a good chef. The chef came from uh, great experiences in Burgo, in Spain. He grew there, in Spain, in Burgo, and now he's here, and uh, he has a good hands. And dessert? Dessert is a tarta vasca, or tarta vasca. It's a special cheesecake, uh, very creamy, with uh, red pepper marmalade, all made in our kitchen. Go check out El Pimiento, the best kept secret in Miami. I'm Tanais Beauvoir with the South Florida Media Network, signing off. There have been dozens of blockbusters about space, but right now a movie crew is shooting a feature film in orbit for the first time ever. That's still ahead, and so is this story. My mom was a scientist, so I just love the idea of exploring the unknown. Vice President Harris doing her part to get kids excited about the space program. News break will be back in two minutes. To Sofia and Gabriel, even though these old knees can't follow on your adventure to the forest today, these flowers represent my love. These stitches and threads join us together. And wherever you see a flower, a bird, a beautiful tree, know that my love is with you. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. COVID-19 has changed how we hang with our girls. Now it's time to take the first step that lets us get back to girls tripping instead of solo sipping. Before we can safely come together, we need the facts. As COVID-19 vaccines become available, you may have questions. Should I get it? Is it safe? Should I wait? It's smart to question. Now get the facts at GetVaccineAnswers.org so you can make an informed decision when vaccines are available to you. Every day. Every day. Millions of people are connecting. And even though we're overcoming obstacles, watching each other's backs, and banding together, we should still make an effort. We should still make an effort to get to know each other on a deeper level. Father. Cosplayer. Mentor. Actor. It's time we take a step forward. It's time we take a step forward. Come together and discover how accepting our differences can, can make, make us stronger. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover their unique mix of all kinds of traits. Where'd Wiley go? Where's Wiley? Ah, oh, there she is. Pa? Do you remember being an ancient wolf? Do you ever feel the call of the wild? You're a renegade cop, and I'm a con woman with nothing to prove. But together, we could really solve this murder. They're a little bit of a lot of things. But all of them are pure love. YouTube Original Kids is blasting off with their latest space series featuring a very special guest. Get Curious with Vice President Harris, the video platform YouTube announced yesterday its upcoming Space Focus special featuring the Vice President. The series follows a group of children going on scavenger hunts with clues delivered by a NASA astronaut from the International Space Station. The children will also get exclusive access to the United States Naval Observatory Telescope. My mom was a scientist, so I just love the idea of exploring the unknown. For Vice President Harris, it's not only a way to educate children, but also a tribute to her mother, who used to be a scientist. For filmmakers, space might just be the new frontier. Yesterday, Russia's Soyuz MX-19 took the first ever feature film crew into space. A producer and an actress will spend 12 days aboard the International Space Station shooting scenes for a Russian movie called Challenge. Tom Cruise plans to bring his own feature film crew up with SpaceX later this year. That's all the time we have for News Break. I'm Zitlali Solachin. And I'm Danelle Duke. And get more news anytime at sfmn.fiu.edu.
my mom was a scientist, so I just love the idea of exploring the unknown.